Hi, I'm Paul and I'm an amateur photographer. So this is another video about backdrops and the reason I'm doing it, I got a really good suggestion from a coworker last week. Um, first of all, this is the middle of the day on a Monday. I took the day off so it can be kind of noisy. I live next to a police department, fire department and a train station and cars are going by and I work out of my condo living room. So, um, there's really nothing I can do about it. So it might get a little noisy and people are coming and going. Um, it's the middle of the day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take pictures and I'm going to put up as I'm talking to show you um, what, what I've done, what the, my coworker suggested. So this backdrop that's behind me, I've used before. It's a polyester fabric backdrop. Behind it is another one that I just received the other day. Uh, that's really nice. And behind that is one I've used before, which is a vinyl backdrop. I did a, a video about that like a week or so ago. So the suggestion was to get a grommet tool. And so this is what I bought. Bought this off of Amazon. Comes with 500 grommets. And it's really easy to use. The grommets are, are magnetic. And this is magnetic. So you just put the top and bottom piece in and just... It, it's really easy to, to crimp. And so what I was doing originally, I had these clamps. These, these I think these are about five or six inches. They've got rubber tips over them. But I would fold the backdrop over this. I've got a metal stand. It's got a tripod on one side, a tripod on the other side, and then a metal bar that attaches and goes across the top. So I'd fold the fabric over the bar and then use this and crimp it down. And even though it's got the, the rubber um, tips, it was damaging the fabric. Actually, it did damaging the fabric on, on this backdrop. So I'm going to be pu I'm putting pictures up and I'll show you what I did. But... Um, or you'll just be able to see pictures. But what I did was I put in each corner of this backdrop and, and I did it with the other backdrop um, because there's one, like I said, there's one behind it and then there's a vinyl one behind that. I put in each corner, far corner of the backdrop, I put uh, grom grommets at the top. And then I also put one, spaced them out evenly and, and put another one here and here. So there's four grommets at the top and they're being tied off. And I just tied them in a knot with some string. Over here on each side, about two, two feet down and then another two feet down, I put more grommets on each side. And then I took a piece of string about 18 inches long and I just tied it in a, in a, in a bow so I can easily untie it. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to flip this backdrop over, then you'll see the other uh, polyester fabric backdrop again uh, behind that. And then I'm going to flip that over. So I won't, I won't have to untie them. I can just flip them over as, as I need them. And then you'll see the, the vinyl. So with these fabric backdrops, what's really nice is that I have, a, I have a stand up steamer, or you can just use an iron or an iron with, with a steamer. And the, the wrinkles increases come out really nice. The grommets allow you to just pull it tight. So uh, I tie it around the poles on each end. And it, so it's, you don't get that waviness if it's just hanging there. So what I've done with these clamps is that I just clamp, I've got four of them. I clamp two on each corner at the bottom of the material. So it helps to pull it down straight what's below those I think the, so these are eight foot wide by six foot high uh, backdrops so I put like two feet down a, a, a grommet then two feet below that a grommet and there's nothing at the bottom because there's really not, not much to tie it off to so I just clamp these at the far corner and then it helps to pull the fabric down and it's not it's not clamped against that bar at the top so it's not going to damage the damage the fabric the the frame that I've got, I purchased this with a couple of uh, backdrops. One was a plain black, plain white, and then a green screen and a blue screen from a company called Digital Juice about, I don't know, 14, 15 years ago. I don't think they sell it anymore. But you can probably find something on Amazon 
that has a it has it should have a backdrop on each side the 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 poles extend i think the 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 uh a tripods extend i believe up to like eight or nine feet high and then the pole going across is goes i believe almost 10 feet wide and it's it's adjustable there's holes in it so you you can adjust it so you should be able to find something like that on amazon so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the um uh the description that well the manufacturer and the description for the the grommet tool in the uh in the in the description of the video i'm not going to put the link because the link can change but at least you'll be able to search for the manufacturer and a description and i'll do the, the same thing for these for these these backdrops so what i'm going to do i'm going to i'm going to untie the sides of this one um, i'll take a picture of it i'll untie the uh, and then i'll show you where i've placed the the grommets and it's kind of it's kind of sloppy looking but you can't tell because it's out of out of out of the frame but i'll take a wide angle shot so you can see how it's mounted and you can see where i put put the the grommets and then i'll flip flip it over and then you'll see the new backdrop that i have and then i'll flip that over and then i can i can uh show you the uh the uh, the vinyl backdrop so i'm going to do that right now so this is the new backdrop that i just received which is really nice and uh also put some uh picture up to see how how that looks uh, with a wide angle shot and again this is a, a polyester fabric the other like i said before the other backdrop is just flipped over the back which is really nice because then it's just draping down and it's not going to get wrinkled. It's it's just hanging from from the the grommets at the top. This one's really nice. The the previous one is really nice. So I think I understand why manufacturers are printing on vinyl. In in so the previous backdrop that you saw and this one they're on fabric the detail is not nearly as sharp as on the vinyl which I'll, I'll show you so I, I guess that's just just a trade-off but it doesn't matter I'm really happy with this one also it's even got some lamps in each each corner of it um, the, the it goes up ev even higher so the um, um, the uh the camera could be could be uh raised even more um because again this is eight feet wide by six feet high so it's real it's really a, a nice looking backdrop and again i'm going to put all the information in the description how you can find these on amazon so the next one um you're going to see is going to be the vinyl and uh, talk about that And this is the vinyl backdrop, which is really nice, really sharp detail. I've talked about that before. There's a a, a plant right here. It's like it's a little tree. Um, the leaves have really sharp detail. I'm not sure if this is actually from a photograph or not, but it kind of looks like it. Uh, the bricks have got really good detail in it. Um, there's a floor that actually goes down um uh, probably about uh, two feet below my waist. Um, doesn't really have a ceiling, but it's got uh, it's got a, a a beam over here with a rope on it. And but this has got really, really, really nice detail, really sharp detail. Um, and for the most part, you probably, unless you were looking for flaws. If somebody was just, or if you're just using this as a as a backdrop, um, doing a video, the focus is going to be on you and not so much the backdrop. Most people would, wouldn't even notice that. But again, before I used the grommets, um, it looked worse. But now, because it's got grommets on each side and across the top, I can pull those sides tight and what 
flaws there are with the um, the uh, the the creases. I don't think are really that noticeable, um, and so I, I I decided you know I was going to keep this one anyways before I even had the suggestion for the grommets. I don't think I'll buy another vinyl backdrop uh, because I. I when I received this, it had really sharp um, uh, creases in it, the way it, way it was um, folded. But for the most part, the most of it came out, probably got a good 90% of it out, and I don't think it's noticeable. But again, I'll put the manufacturer's um, uh, name and the description in the, uh, in the, uh, in the description. Um, got a truck going by, so I'll pick up. Uh, Dump truck, little dump truck going by. That's why you hear the noise. So I'm going to put everything in the description. I'll put the um, the man the uh, for all three backdrops and for the the um, grommet tool in the in the description, so you can look look them up. the The fabric backdrops, I think they they cost me around twenty five dollars. I believe this vinyl one cost twenty five dollars. Um, the stand, I don't, I'm not really sure because I, I already had it, but um, I'm sure there's there's something out there. If I find something, um, go look on Amazon to see if there's anything out there. I'll put that in the description also. But these these backdrops um, change everything. Is I mean, I was it, originally I was standing in front of my vertical blinds in front of my, uh, you know, the the sliding glass door of my balcony, and then just against the plain wall, and then I had this black, because behind this is a, um, what came with this frame, it's it's an oval shape that's seven feet wide by five feet high, but because it's rounded, and it's just black with white on the other side, um, you lose a foot on each side, so that seven by five actually becomes five by by three, but it's it's okay if I just want a plain black backdrop. But um, yeah, so uh, I just wanted to share this information with this grommet tool, which is which is great, and uh, it's easy to use. It's not re it's not too stiff. Um, it's 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 well, it's not stiff at all. But when you when you crimp it, it's 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 it, it doesn't have a lot of tension in it. So I just wanted to put this uh, video up share what I learned. Um, thank my, uh, my uh, co-worker Lawrence for sharing that or suggesting that idea with the grommet tool. And um, anyways, I, I, I hope you got something out of this. So thanks for watching.